Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to nest clips in Premiere Pro and how you can take advantage of it to make your life a lot easier. So let's quickly show you first how to actually nest a clip. Highlight one or multiple clips, then right click what you've highlighted, and select nest. Then you can rename this new nested clip, and if you have multiple clips, these will all be combined into one singular package sequence. Okay, so now that we've quickly shown you how to actually do this, why? What's the main purpose for wanting to nest your clips to begin with? Well, there's a variety of reasons, but let's start off with the basics. Let's start by establishing what exactly we're doing. Basically, you're creating a new sequence out of the clips that you've selected. What we see here is that our timeline is actually already a sequence itself. But if you were to double click on this new nested sequence, you'd be taken deeper inside to the set of clips that you nested. And they're in their own unique sequence timeline. Up here at the top, we can switch back to our main timeline sequence. And because now you've got a sequence of clips nested inside another sequence of clips, that's where we get the term nesting from. And now that all those clips were nested together, you can treat them as one clip. So even when we scrub through, we still have cuts taking place even though we don't see any of those cuts here on the sequence clip. We can move all of this information around and the stuff inside the sequence itself won't be changed. But if we dive back into the nested sequence and start to change up these clips, you can see that all these changes are reflected immediately in the nested sequence in our larger timeline. Cool, right? I hope that you can start to see how powerful this would be and how you could use it in a bunch of different situations to make your life easier. But to get you started, let me give you a couple of common situations where this might be super helpful. One reason that you might want to do this is to simply keep everything organized. Uh, let's say that you have a bunch of motion graphics elements that are going over top of our footage. And if we want to transition all of these at the same time or have them move around, this would require animating every single one individually. But if you highlight all of the text and graphical elements and you nest them, and then you add your transition or animation, they'll all be impacted as a singular unit. Here's another reason why it might be super helpful. This example is really specific. Let's say that you slow down a clip to give it a slow motion feeling, but you also want to add warp stabilizer to it afterwards. By the way, this is a really great method to make it even easier for warp stabilizer to take the shakiness out of your footage, and we've already done a full tutorial on how to get this effect. But when we place down our warp stabilizer effect onto the slowed down footage, we get this message. Basically, Premiere Pro has a limitation that you can't make speed changes and also use Warp Stabilizer on the same clip at the same time. So, how do you get around this? Nesting. Take your clip with just the speed changes applied and no Warp Stabilizer, then right-click and nest your clip. Now, when we apply Warp Stabilizer, it works flawlessly. And not only that, Warp Stabilizer might actually have an easier time stabilizing your otherwise shaky footage. Now, a quick note. As of this moment, there's no way to officially unnest a clip, at least not one with a simple one-click solution. You can undo what you've done, but depending on your situation, let me give you a couple different ways that you can actually address this. First, if you've just recently nested, you can go up to Edit, Undo, or hit Control or Command Z. But if you've done a lot of things since you've nested, that won't really be helpful because you'll have to undo all of those other things before unnesting your clip. So these other options might work better. You can double click on your nested sequence, then once inside, hit Control or Command A to highlight everything, then Control or Command C to copy everything inside. Then go back to your main timeline and place your playhead at the start of the nested sequence, and then paste with Control or Command V. But there is a different way that might be even faster. You can simply go to your nested sequence in your project window. This will automatically be created and placed here when you've created your nested sequence to begin with. If you can't find it, right click on the nested sequence in your timeline and select reveal in project. This will pop up your nested sequence inside of your project window and from here, take a look at this icon here in the top left of your timeline that says insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. It sounds like a lot, but basically, if it's highlighted blue and turned on, clicking and dragging your sequence into your timeline again will just drag and drop a nested sequence. But if you turn off this feature to be white, you can click and drag your sequence and it'll be broken down into the individual clips. And you can just place them down over top of your nested sequence. 
But guys, that's just been a brief overview of how to use nesting inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys like this tutorial, check out all of our other articles on editing in Premiere Pro right here at motionarray.com. While you're there, check out all of our awesome Premiere Pro templates and presets to save you time and energy working on your projects. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Oh,